I've got All it right. on um, Do Not Disturb. So if, if it rings, it, I'll only hear it, hopefully. But but you heard it before, didn't you? Yeah. And and look, so um, I dropped out when I'll I was talking to Sunita last week. So um, if I get lost, just, just keep talking. That's my top tip. Yeah, we'll just do the best we can. We will. We'll just do the best we can. And, and that's the way it goes. You, do, you just can't control what happens on uh, live no, streaming, exactly really. that's exactly right. You just do your best. You've got to be grateful for the good bits. <laughs> be grateful for the good. Do you know what? I think that is the um, I think that is the motto for 2020, Lenore. Be grateful for the good bits. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, just confirming that we are live on Facebook, and so I want to say hello to everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is the second in the current series of Facebook Lives with Adore Yoga, and I was going to tell you how many. Um, weekly Facebook lives will be in the current series but I don't know I've got about six lined up we thought we'll do a series of six and see how it goes but um so far so good and we've got quite a few interesting people who we'd love to get on and interview and talk to on Facebook live so we'll just keep going just see how long this lasts for see if anyone's interested <laughs> anyone's actually watching so I wanted to introduce my guest today. Um, I'm really grateful that she's come along. Uh, she is a graduate of the Foundations of Yoga Therapy Teacher Training, which is a 150-hour uh, yoga therapy foundational training, and it's um, designed for yoga teachers who have a 200-hour training. Um, it's designed to give them um, a 150-hour training which uh, consolidates their skills and their confidence to go in and work with their students um, who have maybe injuries or illness or they want a little bit more confidence in the, the techniques that they've learned in Ayurveda and adjusting and things like that. And it also is uh, Yoga Australia accredited. And so students that come out of this course, um, they're eligible to apply for level one, 350 hour yoga teacher status with Yoga Australia. And this is a program that we've been running for about ooh, six years. And um, at the beginning of this year, we decided to take it online, um, which was pretty handy given what happened in March and everything had to go online. So we'd already started that. Um, and our first online program was a hybrid. So there was some online stuff and then there was a little bit of face-to-face. -face. And now that program has gone completely online. It's fully online, um, but it's done in a slightly different way. Um, a lot of the online programs that you might've seen, are um, they deliver you some PDFs and some videos and you watch the videos and answer some questions. And that's not how we roll at Adore Yoga. It's a lot more interactive. There's a lot of live, face-to-face. -face. There's teaching practice. There's uh, practical homework to do in between the live tutorials. So, uh, Lenore, this is Lenore Bauer. Say hello, everybody. Hi. Hello. <laughs> and Lenore is a graduate of this program. She did it just at the beginning of this year. So, um, it's all pretty fresh in her mind. So, thank, firstly, thank you for coming, Lenore. It's lovely to have you. How are you? I'm well, thank you. It's really lovely to see you and to touch base again after this strange period of COVID. <laughs> it's pretty weird, isn't it? And you've had, we were just talking mm. before we went live about some of the changes that have happened for Lenore. I know that we've all had our lives um, upturned to some extent, but Lenore, you've been through quite a few shifts and changes since March, haven't you? Would you like to share a little bit about some of those changes that have come along for you? Yeah, well, we uh, purchased a property in Newcastle. We were living in Sydney and just before all of the COVID stuff kind of reared its head, we, um, we had put a deposit down on a property in Newcastle and the exchange happened and then COVID came along and everything got a little bit crazy from there on in and uh, we, we moved cities during that time. Um, difficult time, difficult move, but definitely the right move. Um, but it was, a, it was a strange time for me because not only did we move to a new city, which was essentially closed down by the time we got here, and we, we're living right near Hamilton, which is kind of a, a real little foodie cafe 
live music hub and uh, we got here and everything was closed and uh, the trains were empty and just a very surreal time to come and live in a different you know environment it was also a brand new apartment too so everything was <laughs> empty and and you know there was only one other lot of people living here in the apartment complex very strange mm -hmm. surreal time and uh i just remember getting here getting the our feet down and i think i went into a bit of shock actually it was just mm -hmm. such a strange period of time and i'd gone from working uh, you know, working casually a couple of days a week and studying with you online, um, teaching in a studio down there in Sydney, being in a a, a band as well as a singer I'd, I'd, and having a quite a big social life to just nothing. And, uh, you know, work dried up. There was no teaching yoga. There was no more study. We were in a new home living amongst boxes. It was a very strange time. And my son, Jack, who's 25 now, he was the one that said to me, Mum, we better start doing some yoga online. So he was my first online student <laughs> and teaching him his first online yoga class. And, you know, right when we thought everybody was going to die and it was that real mad time. And uh, I remember putting him into Shavasana and I'm looking at, my son lying on the floor in Shavasana through the phone and I just burst into tears. It just was such a surreal, strange time. But yeah, we're all settled and and very happy to be here and Newcastle's gradually been opening up and work has been happening again and, and the teaching is kicking off slowly but surely again. So yeah, we're returning to some sort of normal, a little bit different normal but some semblance of normal right that's that is a huge shift and at any time in life that kind of you know moving to a whole new city and you know, packing up and starting again that that's going to be a big deal but to do it in the middle of um a global pandemic that's really something so mm. that that sounds pretty yeah. eerie and and you were talking about <laughs> Yeah, and you were talking about how that had affected your teaching. So, like lots of teachers, um, your yoga classes just they, they shut down, or the studio shut down. You've moved to a new city. Um, you started to do a little bit of teaching online, and so you bef just before the COVID thing hit, and before you did all your moving, and before the work that you're doing teaching in Sydney stopped, and this new chapter of now. That, I guess rebuilding in, in Newcastle begins. In between those, you you were studying yoga therapy online with Adore Yoga, and so has was was has that been part of the um, part of the shift and the change? How 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 does that fit in with all of what's been going on in your world? It actually. Funnily enough, it was a huge part of the shift for me in terms of my own yoga and also teaching yoga because I came mm. straight out of that introduction course with you, which was fantastic. And it, it was already putting me on a different tangent, I suppose, in terms of how I taught and how I practiced. Uh, but I guess with the lockdown and, and everything being closed up here, I, I didn't have an opportunity to go and practice in a studio. Uh, and I I really deepened my own personal practice as a result, as I'm sure many of us yogis have. Mm. Uh, my personal practice became a hugely important part of my routine here. And just the skills that I'd learned through the intro to yoga therapy course with you really kicked in, really mm. personally kicked in for me as as a practitioner. Um, you know, I'm still doing my daily chanting from my one-on-one -on -one with you and my uh, Ayurvedic routines that I learned with Sunita, they have become a huge part of my daily routine. And I'm just so thankful for having experienced our our teachings 
right at that point where, you know, coming into this situation of moving to a new city, empty house, boxes, I had that. Yeah. And that was a really solid foundation for me. And it's really changed the way that, I, that I'll be moving in towards the new journey of teaching as well. So it's mm. been, uh, yeah, it was a perfect timing, I think. And and yeah, and he who knew all this was going to happen. Now you was before, so I like. Thank you so much for saying that you've really integrated some of what you learned in the foundations of yoga therapy training into your practice, and that it's been supportive for you. So the Ayurveda and the chanting. Uh, but when we were chatting earlier, you was you said um, something along the lines of. I don't want to teach yoga like that anymore. I don't want to do what I was doing. Can you, can you share what you mean by that? Maybe tell us what you were doing, what kind of classes and class sizes you were teaching and, and where you're being drawn or how you're being drawn to teach moving forward. Mm. Um, well, I had come out of my uh, teacher training, my 200 hours, which I did up here with uh, Living Peace Yoga, which was fabulous. Um, and I, so I launched straight into teaching um, in studios and I'd been teaching solid for over a year before I started with you. So I'm a latecomer to teaching yoga. And uh, I, went, I went straight into a modern studio, which was... Uh, there were some really good points to working in that modern studio, but I also learned pretty quickly that that's not the style of yoga that I needed to be teaching. Um, mm -hmm. As a nat like my natural tendency wasn't to teach large groups of you know this fast-paced what they call vinyasa style yoga. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there seems to there be a lot of differentiation between um, this the way people label yoga and I just thought I'll just hook straight in and you know get into all the asana and it was so much more about asana for me and for the people that were coming to the classes so I kind of veered away from that modern style that it was for me it was lacking in the traditional aspects and the philosophy and even the Sanskrit was not there and uh, that was working for some people obviously but it just wasn't really working for me so I went and um, was lucky enough to work in a studio in North Sydney which was uh, more open to the traditions and the philosophy but also quite corporate and um, I just found myself drawn to the smaller groups and any opportunity to teach one-on-one -on -one or a small group I'd just jump at it um, or teaching or you know covering sound bath healings and things like that so I was being drawn more towards a more personalized approach I think and then I was looking at um, upgrading my hours to the 350 hours and I stumbled across your course which was just a, a real light bulb moment of, oh, yoga therapy, you know, I'd, I'd heard about it. My teacher up here, Ginny Clark, had often talked about yoga therapy and I just kind of didn't think it was accessible to new teachers. I thought maybe you'd have to have taught for, you know, 20 years before you could look at it even. So mm -hmm. looking at your introduction course, which gave me that extra 150 hours, but also introduced me to uh, the area of study that I really want to pursue and an area of yoga instruction that I really need to pursue as well. Mm. So, yeah, it was perfect. Again, perfect timing to stumble across the, <laughs> the uh, yoga therapy introduction. And it, it has. It's changed the way I'd like to teach. It's mm. uh, I've, come, I've come out of this lockdown and I know I could probably go and start um, looking to teach in a studio, the the you know bigger groups, but I I'm just not drawn to that anymore. I really am enjoying teaching one or two people in little sessions from home at the moment, where I can tailor their practice to their own needs and give more of a personalised experience. So it has changed everything for me. So it's that tailoring and that personalisation. That's what I'm hearing is that you. 
it's it sounds like you're you're more able to build a relationship with your students when you you're working in a more in a smaller setting and you're able to bring in the, the therapeutic elements that are that are relevant for that person rather than teaching a, a more generic approach is that is that kind of what you're saying yeah absolutely yeah that's exactly what I'm saying I I, I have great respect for any teacher who can stand in front of a room full of 30 people and manage to make everybody in that room feel like they've had a yoga experience and a great yeah. class but I just don't think it's for me. I mm. I feel such as a I feel such uh, satisfaction as an instructor myself if I can just tap into one or two, maybe three people, and to what they really need and what they're what they're looking for or what their personal um, you know you know their their intention for themselves in that class might be and also particularly with injuries and whatnot I'm constantly mindful of not wanting to hurt people and I feel with more of an individualized approach I can I can manage that ahimsa aspect of our yoga a lot better <laughs> right so not doing not 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 doing teaching anything that's harmful and having some skills to support those that do have injuries or health issues to, to, for the yoga to support yeah. them to overcome their issues rather than for the yoga to maybe create new health issues. You know. That's right, yeah. I, I feel too that as an instructor, maybe because of my age, I'm turning 50 in a, in a couple of weeks and, you know, I've come at it pretty late in the piece. Mm -hmm. And I just feel that some of the style, particularly the modern yoga I was teaching in my first gig as a yoga instructor, it was quite harmful to my body um, mm. so that's kind of what led me a little bit away from that I, I yeah I just thought this is this is not yoga for me and I'm not quite sure if it's good for everybody that I'm teaching as well I just couldn't give those individualized cues and yeah for me personally mm. I really am interested in pursuing the more one-on-one uh, -on -one or very very small group approach yeah so <laughs> with with the idea of um personalization in mind i wanted to ask you because i get asked this um a fair bit with the course how was it for you studying yoga therapy online so how were those online components did you find it impersonal was it I, think, I know that's that's something that people consider about doing something online is that it's quite it's it's not personalised mm. sort of hands off. I thought that it would be a little bit more impersonal, to be honest. Like, uh, but I was I was surprised at how quickly we all connected and how quickly we all started having real discussions and. I think part of that was the fact that we were in the comfort of our own home and it was quite a small group as well. Um, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised actually at how comfortable we all were and how close we all got. And then when we actually met face to face, it was as if we'd known each other for years. It was a really lovely experience. So no, I, I have to say I was very pleasantly surprised with the online aspect of the training and I look forward to doing some more. But did you find that it was um, in interactive? Did you feel that you built relationships and that you, you did practice or did you feel that it was more like sitting back and watching a movie? <laughs> more passive no, I felt I was, in between. I was, I experienced the interactive aspect of it. There was probably a couple of, days or maybe moments where I felt like I might just check out for a bit if I had something going on you know but I reeled myself back in but predominantly for me I was I was actively involved and the breakout rooms were a wonderful aspect of the training as well where you can you divvy us off into little groups to do projects together and that was fantastic actually that was a really um 
important aspect, I think, of keeping everybody connected and and involved, and also the regular physical breaks that we would have, the the jump up, let's all get up and you know let's start this next session off with some practice and some asana or meditation. It was very uh, it was varied, and uh, yeah, that's I think that for me is what made it worthwhile. Right, so there, it, it wasn't just a long day <laughs> sitting down. There was a bit of variety there. No, no, there was. Yeah, it, it was good. The variety was good, and I think being at home too for me, it was. I mean, I hadn't done anything like that before. I hadn't done any online training, and now everybody's living their lives like this. So mm-hmm. it was actually a really good little introduction to our new world, our new normal, I suppose, as well. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it, it definitely worked. It really worked. Mind you, I, I had myself organised and I think that would be a big mm. aspect. Mm. I think, you know, you've got to have that space, even if it's a little corner in the lounge room, and have your props and have your comforts and, you know, your cup of tea ready. And, you know, I think that was a – there might have been one day where I really wasn't organised. I just didn't have anything – it was a bit of a rush job, and and that was probably the only time that I thought, oh, I need to be organised <laughs> for this to work. It, it made a lot, a lot of difference, as yeah. you know, just being super organised. It was yeah, it was a bit of a treat actually. It was a a treat to be having that time at home to study. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of time out. Hmm. So I wanted to ask you, you mentioned the breakout yeah. rooms because um, I, I also really enjoy those um, and I think the students get a lot out of them. So we just, um, if you've not been on a Zoom call where you've used these breakout rooms before, um, what we do in this training is that we, uh, before uh, the live tutorial, we give students um, a, a bunch of guided study so they'll be given some worksheets and there might be a video to watch and there might be a chapter of a book to read and there will be some teaching practice based on what they've been learning and uh and then they might read about some techniques or watch a video about some techniques and then they come into the live tutorial and in we then put them into breakout groups to practice uh, teaching these techniques. So they might've learned about a particular yoga therapy technique in their notes. We then discuss it and workshop it on the Zoom call and then put the students into breakout rooms of two or three where they can practice those techniques as, as if they were practicing with a student. So how, how did it feel d- doing teaching practice in, in a breakout room online with, with students you've never met before who are <laughs> somewhere up in the ether. It was confronting initially. Ah. It was uh, it was a, a moment of, oh, I wonder if, if I'm going to be able to do this. But very quickly, um, I think because there was that aspect when we were in the breakout room, we could actually have a little, a little oh, my God, I'm nervous, you know, like... <laughs> And it, it was almost as if we were in the room together. It, it, we broke down that barrier very quickly and very easily together and got to know each other in that sort of environment. It was a strange phenomenon, actually, to get to know these women that uh, I hadn't met before physically. And uh, mm-hmm. we all knew each other. And so when we did finally meet, it was this... this like a reunion type thing it was yeah very very comfortable but initially I was confronted by that I thought I wonder how this is going to go mm. but as soon as I started it was fine and in fact it was kind of nice to to um, have that the video aspect of it because I'd never really seen myself teaching so at that point, I hadn't really videoed myself teaching. So when I was doing the breakout room teaching, um, you know, I could see myself on the screen and that, that threw a different dimension in as well. So it, it kind of made you up your game a little bit, I think. 
just um, that's interesting. Yeah, it, it it definitely worked. Yeah, that's really interesting. In fact, you kind of upped your game because you could see yourself. You you were aware because you could see yourself on the on the screen. Yeah. And you know what? We've done some. Yeah. Um, yeah. We I've been running trainings for over twenty years and. We always send out feedback of all the different types of trainings that I do. And a lot of the trainings that I do have some kind of tra- teaching practice, so a role play or teaching something that you've learned. And um, the feedback that we've had from doing these the role plays and the, the um, teaching practice online in the breakout rooms has been better <laughs> to get people to do it face to face. Because there's something about um, yeah. doing it online in a breakout room. You get you, you go off to your own little room. You're not in, a, in, in the corner of a big room with, with 20 other people. You're just there with the two other people that you're working with. Yes. And you're not, you, 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 some, of the, some of the self-consciousness and the awkwardness and the I'm, I'm not good enough, I can't do this. And some of the mm. um, techniques that we use to mask and to, to cover when we're feeling like that, that all just kind of drops away in this online environment. And we've had True. better feedback and people are responding better to doing the teaching practice and the role plays and things when they're doing it in these breakout rooms online than when we've asked people to do it in, in, in a large room full of people. And I've been really surprised by that, really surprised. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I would have to agree with that. There's a, there was a real sense of... Um, trust uh, you know because it was such a small group and yeah they just I just didn't feel judged yeah so I'm not yeah. quite sure what's happened to my screen there oh has your screen frozen <laughs> sorry that's all right no it's just dropped away so I'll just try and bring that back I'm watching I'm watching us on I Facebook and there's a lag talking. so whatever's happening for you <laughs> I can't see it on Facebook yet <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, Facebook put a lag in for the yeah, live no, so that their it's moderators good. can uh, jump in if anything inappropriate crops up. Yep. Um, yep. All back, Fair enough. Your screen sorted. <laughs> all back, yes, all good. Oh. Yep. So, um, so you were saying that um, that you've you've discovered this this new way of teaching and these new techniques and you want to you want to follow that path. What what are your next steps? What are you going to, where to? Um, well, I'm just um, pretty much just starting out now um, with some one on one and very very small groups from home. Mm-hmm. Um, just a couple of days a week, I've I've opened my home space up just to teach a little bit from here I've got a nice little yoga space to teach from at home and I really want to um, explore that for the next couple of months before jumping into the uh, yoga therapy training with you Mm -hmm. next year I'm really keen to do that yoga therapy training and um, just also continue to work on my own practice and and I find too that when I was practicing, uh, you know, when I was studying with you and also with Living Peace with Ginny in my initial teacher training, I just feel like my practice is so much better, and so and I, I just get so much more um, out of my yoga experience when I'm studying. It's yeah, I, I feel a little bit like I I, I just need to be studying (laughs) so at the moment I can't really I can't commit to that right now but I'm really looking forward to kicking back off and starting that yoga therapy training oh I'm so so glad you're coming back to the uh, accreditation yeah I'm really keen for that yeah and I don't think more more online study (laughs) I mean more online study and yeah uh, uh, as as we know distance doesn't seem to be a factor nowadays so yeah I'm actually um, practicing with my initial teacher Ginny as well I do her online classes and uh, I just love having having her in my home (laughs) it's almost like oh I get to have Ginny at home again (laughs) 
So um, I'm enjoying practicing online and I'm looking forward to studying more online. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming and talking to us today. I really appreciate you taking the time because I know you've got, uh, you said that you've got a birthday coming up, but you've also got you let me know that you've got something else exciting coming up around your birthday time. What are you doing? Yes, yes. A very exciting 50th birthday present for me. My partner, Dean, and I are going to be marrying on my birthday, which will be lovely. Yeah, very exciting. So, yeah, just a nice little intimate small ceremony at home and uh, a nice curry <laughs> to celebrate afterwards. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, just <laughs> very low-key and... Yeah, this is, a, it's just a nice, I don't know, it, coming out of this COVID experience to a new normal has been, uh, there's been a lot of positives for us, um, for me as well. I was very conditioned to a very busy life and doing too many things and, and uh, you know, less is more for me these days. So, uh yeah. Just really mm. looking forward to a quiet little wedding ceremony and a couple of days up the coast. Yeah, just um, doing things a lot differently now. But your uh, out, the the training that I did with you, um, I don't know. It felt it felt like it set me up to get through this period of time. And mm. yeah, I think that's why I'm thirsty for more of that yoga therapy training. It actually really benefited me on a personal front to a great degree. Not only did I learn how to understand the, the teachings of yoga therapy, but I actually progressed in my own journey because of the, the things we were learning about. And, and, yeah, I opened myself and actually moved through quite a bit of work that I hadn't realised I needed to get through. So, yeah, I'm very grateful. Oh, I'm grateful to you. Thank you, Lenore. Mm. Congratulations on your <laughs> coming, forthcoming wedding. Have a wonderful time. And, yeah, I'm, Thank you. I am looking forward to seeing you for, for some more yoga therapy training and good luck with everything. Thank you so much, Nicola, and good luck to you and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Oh, yes, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Thanks, Lenore. <laughs> Have a lovely evening. Take Bye. care. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. See you. Bye.